the HP Envy X360 versus the MacBook Pro 13 inch M1. Which laptop should you buy? Should you go for the Windows route or should you get the MacBook Pro? Now, first and foremost, the obvious difference here is the 15 inch screen and larger form factor on the HP Envy X360. However, when you look at the actual build, you can see that there are speaker grills on the side of the HP Envy X360, which actually aren't speaker grills. These are just vents that actually don't do anything. So right off the bat, I would say a big bonus to the MacBook Pro being that these are speakers and the MacBook Pro is actually cooled very well. It stays very cool, very quiet. As you can see in the thermals, this laptop here, the HP Envy X360, really struggles getting cool. The MacBook Pro has no problems. Moving on to the build quality, they both have excellent build quality, very reminiscent of one another. Smooth, rounded, beveled edges, secured nicely, the bottom cover to the chassis, the top cover is aluminum, the keyboard deck is aluminum, and they both have excellent keyboards. Soft, quiet, snappy key press. However, the click on the MacBook Pro is actually a vibration click rather than actual manual click like on the HP Envy. So it's going to be a quieter laptop. When you use this laptop, it's going to be quite noisy as far as the click is concerned compared to the MacBook Pro. The screen is going to be more color accurate on the MacBook Pro as well, but just by a little bit. Hey there, man. Why don't you gently stroke that like button? Helps us out a lot on this channel. Gets more views to my beautiful chassis. Appreciate it. Now, regarding the hinge opening and closing the screen, you can see that on this laptop, it does take more than one hand because it's got a very firm hinge. So you really got to get a hold of it and open it with two hands. And on the HP Envy X360, you have a dual hinge configuration where on the MacBook Pro, it's one single hinge spanning the entire bottom bezel of the screen. The ports are something you could definitely benefit from with the HP Envy X360. You have an SD card slot, two USB type A's and one USB C. However, unfortunately, the USB type C is not a Thunderbolt where it is a Thunderbolt on the MacBook Pro M1, but you can charge the Envy X360 with the USB-C port. So that is beneficial. But then again, you can also just plug in your charger. Whereas when you plug in the charger for the MacBook Pro, you basically eliminate one of the ports. So they become pretty hand in hand when you think about it that way. Okay, let's jump right into the performance, which I actually found quite shocking. In Cinebench R20, the HP Envy X360 beat out the MacBook Pro by over a thousand points. On Cinebench R23, it did not do quite as well, but still beat it out by a thousand points. Now for Geekbench, you actually see the MacBook Pro M1 pulling ahead by about 600 points. And then for Geekbench multi-core, you see the MacBook Pro slightly ahead, but not as much as on the single core. Now in After Effects, you can see that the MacBook Pro is a little bit better with that neural engine and a little bit better integrated GPU. For the 4K export, we see the MacBook Pro winning out. Now, where the rubber really meets the road for 4K video editing is in the playback. The less drop frames you have, the smoother playback experience, the less frustration while video editing. The MacBook Pro gets half of the drop frames, which is really good. So for 4K playback at full quality, you can get 5,000 drop frames versus the 10,000 out of the NVX 360. However, if you're gonna be a heavy Photoshop user, you're a designer or photo editor, and you do occasional 1080p video editing, 
then the NVX360 is actually gonna be your pick because it performs better in Photoshop. But in regards to Photoshop and video editing, the thermals on the HP NVX360 are rather disappointing and they come with quite a bit of fan noise. So where the MacBook Pro had no fans kick on for any of these benchmarks, the HP NVX360 ran at 44 decibels and was substantially higher in temperature. So if you want a cool and quiet laptop, then the MacBook Pro is gonna be your pick. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you in the next video.